Wardle here. Just want to give a quick thank you to Team Samurai X1 for allowing this video on his channel. The only Trap Tricks deck or player, I guess, that's topped a regional in years. Ever since Trap Tricks Sarah became a card and this amazing game. Ever since this card's been printed, I'm the only player to top both several regionals with it. And I'm not sure why this deck has major potential to win a championship. Yeah, I just wanted to showcase to the world why this deck is amazing. And go ahead and check out the description down below to look out for Team Sam X1's new hero playmat. Heard that mat is nice. And check out his website as well for that mat. Alrighty, and also shout out to my channel, Team Bortle. That channel is nice as well. Travel to many events and get deck profiles for you, the players. Oh God, yes. So I'm gonna present to you my top eight regional deck profile, which can be used in the post ban list. And for starters, we have Triple Trap Tricks Mermelo. What people do not know is this effect is mandatory upon special summon. It must activate. Think about it like Artifact Scythe, okay guys? Once it hits the field, it must activate even if the opponent has no targets for it. It triggers, so in that case it triggers Trap Tricks Sarah. That's why this card's amazing and it sets up your combo, guys. All right, now we have Trap Tricks Dianea. This card is amazing. When it's normal summon, special summon any trap tricks from the graveyard, which is typically a mermillo and that triggers and pops back row so you can OTK. And guess what? They're all level fours, so you can make that Utopia cheese. And now we have Triple Mantis. This card's pretty nice. It searches any trap tricks monster. You can even search itself if you want, but 99% of the time, we're gonna search for a Dianea to set up the following turn. Its second effect is a quick effect as well, which can prevent your back row from being destroyed. And it also resets the timer for trap tricks Dianea if this was special summon or reset a trap hole card, so you don't get it banished in the next end phase. So that's why this card's really nice and it works around jamming waves and uh, Twin Twister, Cosmic Cyclone, pretty good. And I am playing the Artifact Engine, so you're gonna see an Artifact Scythe right here. Going first, obviously, it shuts down the opponent's decks. And I'm also playing another target, which is Artifact Lancia. Okay, guys, because I am playing Desires in this build, so I really wanted to optimize on my options. I was originally gonna play Double Scythe, but Artifact Lancia is really good against those Orcus type decks, any deck that banishes. And also for the people that main deck evenly matched. So Lancia is just amazing. And probably the best hand trap in the game right now that can prevent your opponent from playing. Iron Dragon Tomaton. Playing three copies. This card is ridiculous, and towards the end of the video, I'll show you a little small combo on why this card is amazing. But if you guys don't know, is this triggers in the hand, and then when it's special summon, it blows up everything in the column. That's why I'm playing this. And that's it for my monster count. There are no hand traps besides this and Lancia, guys, because this card has the potential to like stop your opponent. I like to think of, think of it as an artifact scythe, to be honest. And next I have my spells, guys. If you haven't noticed, Ash Blossom destroys this deck, so now I'm playing Triple Call by the Grave. This card's ridiculous. If I resolve this card, I'm probably gonna win that game because this shuts down Ash Blossom for two turns and other hand traps as well. And defensively, this is pretty nice too, guys. And next we have Pod Desires. I'm only playing two copies because in most cases, if you run three, you're gonna draw into another Desires, and this card says draw two. And next we play Upstart Goblin. This card right here makes the deck 39 cards. That's why it's pretty nice, guys. And next we have Double or Nothing. This is the win button for the deck. And we can also summon another rank four that's a win condition as well. Now for the traps. Trap trick at three, guys. This card allows me to get any of my traps in the deck. And obviously I can banish some copies with desires, but I run so many traps, it doesn't even matter. So I like to think about this card being an additional copy of my other normal traps. And one of the best traps in the game, Artifact Sanctum, ridiculous. Special size shuts down the game and I can get a free summon with Sarah. And I love the normal 
traps, guys, because they all trigger Trap Trick Sarah, and Trap Trick Sarah activates with my opponent's traps as well. Compulse is really nice, one of the best traps in the game. Spins anything away, Compulse Appaloosa, really good. And the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine. This is probably the best trap in this deck because this allows you to combo off going first, turn one. So this is ridiculous, it's a level four monster. And I only play this trap hole right here, Floodgate Trap Hole. If you really think about it, other trap holes are not that great. This is probably the best one that can work against any deck out there. And this allows me to OTK efficiently with Penistag, guys. And Lost to Win, I'm only playing two copies of it because space is kind of tight. And I wanted to play uh, something that's decent going second and first. And it can also reset itself too if your opponent special summons from the extra deck. So Lost to Win's pretty nice. And next we play Solemn Strike to finish up with our traps. I originally did not want to play any counter traps in my deck, but Solemn Strike's just way too nice, guys. And I just threw it in there and it worked out great. And let's go ahead and go into the extra deck. I play Triple Trap Trick Sarah. This is the best card in this deck. It's just ridiculous, guys. It's unaffected by traps and... It just shoots out monsters, sets trap holes from the deck, and allows me to uh, beat you with Temeton, so it's really nice. And next, I have IP Mascarina. This card's really good. I don't, I rarely make this card, but when I do, it's pretty nice because it sets me up with Unicorn during my opponent's turn. And Penistag. This card just allows me to win. I made a Boral Sword on top of this and <laughs> pierced twice. It's pretty nice, guys. And Nightmare Package, Phoenix, Cerebus, and Unicorn. These cards are just ridiculous. Clear back row, clear Nibiru token if it's in your way, and Unicorn. And my, one of my win conditions, Bortal Sword. Attacks twice, it's just an OTK, guys. If I, for some weird reason, banish my double or nothing, Bortal Sword just finishes the game. So it's pretty good, pretty good. And my XYZ's Dweller. A lot of people tell me to Blind Dweller, but I really like to Blind Time Thief Redoer. This card is just crazy because I like to steal my opponent's spells and draw with it. So Time Thief Redoer is just one of my favorites. Tornado Dragon because the uh, Artifact Engine. And the Wind Button, Double, Utopia. And I also play Lightning because Lightning can run over Cosmos, so that's why it's in there. Uh, it's mainly in there in case my opponent ashes my Utopia double. And if they do, I can summon lightning and, you know, just like attack with it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my side deck real quick. And funny enough, I was already playing the one copy of Pankratops. This is just a really cool card overall. But the bad thing is if your opponent monster reborns and whacks you with it, it sucks. And Nibiru, just playing the two copies. Going forward, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run three of these. Really great card. Lancia, playing the other two copies because I'm main decking Sanctum and just really good hand trap overall. And I used two system downs for all those machine decks. Really good card going second, guys. Evenly match, probably the best trap of the format going forward for other back row decks. Even like, uh, let's say Spiral decks too, I guess. And probably the nicest cards to trigger my Sarah is Dusters. Really good against the control matchup, guys. And the spice of my side deck belongs to the Anti-Spell Fragrance. With Ignition Assault, this card can be amazing because if they have that new Storm card, guess what? They can't activate it because you can activate this in the standby phase, you know, and they literally have to have Twin Twister or Cosmic Cyclone for this card. And if not, then you're good because you can just blow out their back row with Mermelo or just OTK them on your turn, guys. Alrighty, guys, for this combo, it's very simple. Let's pretend you open this. It can be like any trap card that's chainable, any trap trick monster, and Tamatai on in your hand. So what you do is you normal summon this, just shoot it away, Make the Trap Trick Sarah, and then you go ahead and just set this bad boy. You can set it here, I guess, if you want, whatever. And then your opponent goes, let's say they uh, summon something and try to attack this. Well, guess what? In the battle phase, 
you say, do you pass priority? If they do in the beginning of the battle phase, activate trap trick, set whatever you want right here. And then that goes ahead and triggers Sarah. With Sarah, you go ahead and special summon the Mermillo and Mermillo triggers and then Sarah triggers. And then you can go ahead and set a uh, floodgate trap hole anywhere. Usually you can you know set it right under it. So your uh, columns are aligned. That makes Tematayam live during your opponent's turn, guys. So you can go ahead and just special summon it wherever you want. Or you can go ahead and block your opponent from special summoning from the extra monster zone on your opponent's side of the field. So there you go. This is a quick and easy combo, guys. So hopefully you guys utilize this because this deck's amazing. That's going to be it for this deck profile. Thanks again, Team Sam, for having this video on your channel. That's going to be it. Bordel out. Let's go!